again, thank you so much for everyone um, joining us. Um, it is nice to see so many happy, smiling faces tonight. Um, we are awarding the um, Newark Pride Coalition, the Diversity and Inclusion Champion Award. And um, Newark Pride was nominated because of your work in the community over the past few years. Uh, your work has been so significant um, in helping LGBTQ of people of all ages feel more welcome and respected in our community. Um, would also like to note that there was a special specific nomination for Dr. Timothy Bussey for the work that they have done in Newark and beyond. So we are very, very excited um, to present you with this award, um, which you will receive in the mail, which will be great to display. Um, but accepting the award is Sean Fennell. Is there anything that you'd like to tell us about Newark Pride? Absolutely. Um, so Newark Pride um, is a new organization um, I still consider us new within the community, but we definitely, uh, through all of our community partners and all of the incredible people that volunteer, either on the board or otherwise, uh, we have really made, I believe, a strong impact in this community. And I'm so proud of everything that the Newark Ohio Pride Coalition has achieved. Um, and I'm very excited for the things that we will continue to achieve in this community. Um, our signature event, of course, is our uh, Pride Festival. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we can't have that this year. Uh, however, we felt like that was the best decision for our community. Uh, the health and safety of our community is our number one concern. Um, but we do so much more than that. Um, we also have um, held free legal clinics with uh, Equality Ohio. We also had an online web series that had 22 events with Listen um, of Central Ohio. And we also um, help out with a uh, LGBTQ plus uh, youth group uh, with the Yes Club and Listen as well. So um, those are just an example of some of the things that we're able to do um, outside of Pride. And uh, we really, I just can't, we couldn't do it without the incredible um, members of our board and our volunteers. Um, Timothy, uh, Dr. Bussey is really a shining example of a board member um, there willingness to jump in and take on big projects and uh, also just innovate is truly inspiring. I'm so proud to uh, call Timothy my friend and fellow board member and I can't think of anybody more deserving um, of this award. So thank you so much. Wonderful. And if anyone watching this would like to get involved with Newark Pride, how would they get in touch with you? Uh, the best way to get in touch with us is actually through our Facebook page right now. Um, so you can visit us on Facebook and message us directly. We have a very active Facebook page. Um, so that's probably the, the fastest way to get a hold of us. Wonderful. Well, thank you so very much and congratulations. You definitely um, are deserving of this award. So it's very exciting to be able to present it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! So today we are here to award Linda Parks with a 2019 Diversity and Inclusion Champion Award. Um, these awards are given out by the CERC Planning Committee um, to recognize somebody who has made a difference in our community by promoting diversity and inclusion. Um, Linda was one of the individual recipients that we selected because of her um, just hours and hours and hours of work that she puts in. Um, if you know Linda, you know she's always got something pink on. She is a tireless breast cancer advocate, um, particularly for women of color. Um, and she recently was recognized for that, um, that awareness raising um, through MBE Ohio. Um, she's also a member of the Red Cross Diversity and Inclusion Committee. And um, as somebody who is just recently joined that committee, I will say that I have learned a lot from her. She's also a member of the East and South Central Ohio Chapter Board of Directors. She's um, very active in Power of the Purse, which is definitely a huge event for our local Red Cross. And um, she's actively helped try to recruit more diverse volunteers um, in the Red Cross. So. 
And that's just a little bit of all the many things that she does in our community. Um, so we certainly felt that she was deserving of this award. I think right now we are seeing how important it is to have a strong awareness of health in all communities. And, and I think it's, it's really great that Linda is doing this work. So Rod, is there anything that you would like to add about Linda and just your experience working with her? Well, let me add some backdrop to everything that a couple of years ago, um, we were forming the DNI committee and so our governance committee from the board um, took it upon themselves to go out in the community, find somebody that might be, some folks that might be champions in different areas. And the first name submitted to me was Linda. And that was definitely uh, uh, the, one of the best things that ever happened to the Red Cross board. Um, the thing that she brings besides her passion for everything she does is her sense of humor and her willingness to share. Um, it, it's, it's unusual times where Linda is left um, speechless. <laughs> but, but she is very much appreciated by the Red Cross for everything she does, not, uh, not only for the DNI committee, but for the community as a whole. Thank you, Rod. Linda, you, anything you'd like to say? Any remarks? I would just like to thank the planning committee for selecting me as a recipient for a such prestigious award. Um, I just encourage everyone to find their, their gift and find their passion. Every community needs volunteers to help the community grow. And so um, with the diversity and inclusion, um, it encompasses all people and, um, and everyone matters. So um, with that, I am grateful and I am still finding room in my schedule to help in the community where I can. I'm trying to over and inundate myself so I can um, be supportive to every um, venture that I incur. So again, thank you again. I really appreciate this honor. Well, congratulations. It's very well deserved. Thank you.